what I thought. All right, so um, Seth Williams, newsarms.com, uh, talking about clenbuterol. Now, clenbuterol is a stimulant used for pre-contest prep, usually for cutting body fat and to increase cardio output. Personally, can't stand clenbuterol because it makes me shake like I have Parkinson's disease and gives me anxiety like the cops are coming to get me. I don't know. It's just one of those things that I can't stand. Like, I would much prefer to um, take anything but plan. Um, uses in medical terms is it is used for as an anti-asthma medication. Side effects are jitter shakes, anxiety, muscle aches, nausea, dehydration, insomnia, and heart enlargement. I would avoid this at all costs. Um, cycle two weeks on, two weeks off to avoid heart enlargement issues, especially when taking anabolics that increase muscle mass because the heart is a muscle. Dose between 20 and 40 milligrams daily. I just wouldn't do that. Albuterol has a shorter half-life, does the same thing, but because of the shorter half-life is much less um, taxing on the body and the heart and has the same effect, but still don't like it because I don't like feeling like I'm scared of breathing. Um, more effective alternatives, TRX2, AOD9604 for blocking the fat cells so that it can't um, store any more energy. Dieter's Delight increases the metabolism, curbs the appetite, gives you focus, concentration, cognitive ability, helps your um, endurance, things like that. TRX2 does the same thing. GW501516 will actually increase your fat burning process like Lambuterol, but it doesn't have, you know, it still doesn't make you, it makes me feel a little weird, but not like Clem. Um, SR9009, you won't feel, but is speeds up cellular reproduction and circadian rhythm in the body so that increased muscle mass, decreased body fat happens rather easily. 9011 is supposedly the more orally absorbable form, just means it bypasses the liver a little bit better. Um, so you watch the videos on those. By the way, research chemicals are not for human consumption. They're not to be eaten, snorted, banged, and sulfated. They're not to be taken as procreation aids or, you know, given to your mother-in-law. But, I mean, humans don't use them at all. And nothing I say is medical advice. I'm just giving an overview of some of the more used things and what they're useful for and um, trying to give people useful information so that you can make the most educated decision humanly possible without, you know, causing problems. If you have any questions, um, S-E-T-H-N-H-C at gmail.com. You can hit me up on Facebook and message me or call me through Facebook. I'm in Thailand right now, so I, my phone doesn't work. So, um, yeah, just hit me up there and appreciate y'all. We'll go to the next one.